Howdy, my name is Javier Mendez and I am from section 503 and I will be presenting the video quiz on the question that was assigned to us. So first thing, let me read the question. The US Post Office will accept a box for shipment only if the sum of height and girth, the girth is the distance around the bottom, is at most 108 inches. Find the dimensions of the largest acceptable box with a square top and bottom. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make a diagram to visualize what is going on. So, okay, now that we have our diagram, we know that the bottom and top are square. So that means what we can do is assign an X to all of them, the sides of the base, because we know that they're all the same, we know that they're all the same size, and we have the height over here. Okay, so for this problem, we're gonna need two equations. The first one being what is being asked, which would be the sum of the height and girth must be equal to 108, and the girth we know that is the sum of the four sides. So what we can do is 4x, which is the girth, plus the height has to equal to 108. Okay? Now what we need to do, well, hold on. Next equation would be the volume equation, which would be an equation that has both the x and the h. So we have volume is to x squared times the height. So now we have these three equations. So now the next thing we need to do is solve for h in terms of x so we can get this whole equation in terms of x. So we move the 4x over here to this side so that h is equal to 108 minus 4x. So now that we have our h, this goes into that h. So we have v equals to x squared times 108 minus 4x. Okay, so now we do just a little bit of distribution. So we have 108 x squared minus 4x cubed. Okay, so now we have our volume equation in terms of x. So now the next thing we need to do is get the derivative of the volume equation, set it equal to zero to get the critical numbers. So we have v prime of x is equal to 216 x minus 12 x squared. Now set it equal to zero. So we have negative 12x squared plus 216x is equal to zero. Just rearrange these, okay? And now we solve it. So the easiest way to solve this would be factor out an x. So you have negative 12x plus 216 equals to zero. So now we have x equals to zero this one, that one goes there, and now this equals to zero, which is negative 12x plus 216 is equal to zero. So now solve for x, negative 12x is equal to negative 216 divided by negative 12, both sides. So now we get that x is equal to 18. So now we have our two critical numbers. Critical numbers would be zero and eight, okay? So now, now that we have our critical numbers, next thing to do would be to make a sign chart. So, sign chart, we have zero and 18. Now we need to plug in numbers below zero, in between zero and 18, and after 18, so we can see how the function is either increasing or decreasing in these different places. Okay, so the first one would be something below zero, it could be like a negative one, negative two, negative 100, it doesn't matter. 
The point is, if you plug it back into the derivative equation, you get that, if you get like a negative one, it would be negative 216, and then this would be a uh, negative one squared would be one, so negative six, 216 minus a 12 is still negative. So, since f prime of x is less than zero, we know that the function is decreasing. Okay? Now, if we plug in a number in between 0 and 18, it could be a 1. It would be 216 times 1 is 216 minus a 12 times 1 squared. So 12 times 1 squared is just 12, so it would be 216 minus 12, still positive. So we know that f prime of x is greater than 0. So we know that the function is increasing here. Now, a number after 18, it'd be like 100, 1,000, you know that 216 times a big positive number is a big positive number. And 1,000 squared my, times 12 would be an even bigger negative number. So you know that it's a positive number minus an even bigger negative number would be negative. So we know that f prime of x is less than zero, so we know that the function is decreasing. So now, with this sign chart and the critical numbers, we can know, we know where the local extrema are, which are a minimum at zero and a maximum at 18. Going back to the question, it says we need to find the largest acceptable dimensions for the box. So we would use 18 because it is our local maximum. Okay, so now that we, now that we have our local max at x equals 18, we can plug it back into the 4x, which is for the girth, and the height equation to get the two dimensions they were asking for, which was the girth and height. So for the height, we have 108 minus 4 times, you plug in the 18, and you get 36 inches. And for the girth, which is the sum of the four sides of the base, you get 4x, so 4 times the 18 equals the 72 inches. So the question asks for the height and girth, the largest possible dimensions, and these are the two numbers. Thank you for your attention.